Hey guys, so I finally got a new phone with a better camera and I finally was able to spend some money on my own products that I'm selling. I chose Avon because when I was little I remembered getting Avon and Mary Kay from the fair. They give us the little samples and I remembered loving them and stuff. And just being obsessed with makeup. I've always loved makeup. And I wanted to find a way to make a little bit more money on the side. So I chose to do that. And then shortly after I realized, well, I don't really have all the tools to sell. Um, my camera wasn't that good. I didn't have enough money to buy all the products and stuff. But finally, I've been able to do that. So, today, that took a minute of your life off. So, not too bad. But, today, I'm going to be using the products that I normally use. And then later, I'm going to do a full face comparing them. And I'm going to do something similar and easy. And I'm going to do it in real time. So, feel free to, like, skip or whatever um, along so with Am Amazon, with Avon, I bought their brushes and stuff too. <clears throat> so I will be using those as well. And I'm not a professional or anything. I just love makeup. I do what works for me. Um, makeup is hard. Like, I know my bag's like really gross. So, and it's huge. Oh my goodness, if you can see this. And there's broken glass in here, nice. Oh no. I don't know what that's from. It's not good. Um, so usually, so I'm just gonna go through the process of what I normally do. I think when I do the Avon makeup, I think this is the only thing that I'm gonna be using. And it's just, it's just a brush cleaner, a dry brush cleaner, which is great. I'll show you guys. <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing just my normal routine, how I get ready, which is very chaotic because I'm very chaotic. I'm going to take off my ring so I don't get everything kegged. Now I have BoxyCharm subscription, so I get like sometimes really high end stuff that I use and a lot of this stuff I've just, it's been given to me or I've just bought randomly um but usually I start off with the base which is primer a lot of people do moisturizer first and that's good but I don't like wasting it because I just I don't know um I should probably show you what this is well, it's too late. So, I'm going to show you after. I'm just going to rub with my hands, my clean hands. I'm going to rub this primer all over. This is a really good primer. I got this in a boxy charm. And then I'm going to take it down to my neck because I do makeup on my neck um, because of my PCOS. <laughs> this might be TMI or disgusting, but I literally, I have hairs that I have to pick. And so there's like blemishes and stuff from it. And I break out because ingrown hairs just sucks. <laughs> I have to pluck like every day. So... The primer that I used is called Pretty Fitter Glassy Skin Balm. It's by Glassy. It's really cute. It smells like peaches to me. I don't know if it's scented peaches or what. Um, the next thing that I always do is foundation. And I'm going to be using She Glam, which is from Sheen. It's Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation in the shade Porcelain. It comes in a really like neat, really sophisticated bottle. 
and it has its own little like velvet casing which is great except I get makeup and hair all over it so what I usually do is I squirt I start off with one because I don't want to waste product and then I bought this off of Sheen too um, that I've seen people use and it, it makes the foundation go on so well I think better than a beauty blender but that's from me just rubbing on it okay and then I'll dip it there and then I'll do like dots all over the place um, and then I'll rub it in this is really like weird because I'm usually in the mirror and I can't the lighting's not that great I also got a ring light but it's not coming in until like Tuesday this is really awkward <laughs> but I'm um and if you know me like well you know that I'm very socially awkward so it's been hard um this is like weird for me to do to do something that's kind of social but I love makeup and I needed to do something on the side and this is just fun for me so I'm very like red toned and I'm breaking out right now Usually before this, I would just use my fingers, <laughs> which I still do sometimes on some stuff. Already at seven minutes and you guys are literally just watching me. Hopefully you skip through some of this because it might be a little boring. So... And you can see, like, I have really dry skin, so it's hard um, for it not to look, like, cakey because of the dry skin. I don't know what that was, but yikes. I get the under eyes. I do not have concealer. That is one thing that I do not have, and I just bought... So I'm going to do a little bit more for my neck and uh, for my blemish right here. Try and pack it on. I don't think that that's going to disappear, but... <laughs> this is so awkward right here. Um... Along with the camera and the financial difficulties, I went through a really <laughs> uh, rough time with um, my mental health. So I just, like all of my energy went to that. Cause I don't know if you guys have dealt with like panic attacks, like really bad ones but I literally felt like I was dying every single day every single minute it's all my mind could think about and it was horrible and uh I ended up gaining a bunch more weight it was not a good time but I got help I got counseling although my counselor moved and just dropped ties with me. <laughs> I don't know if that was my fault, but um, I got help with counseling and also I they put me on medication. My doctor did. And I also went to my family's heart doctor and which he told me and discovered that I have mitral valve prolapse. And a lot of people with mitral valve prolapse 
literally think that they're dying all the time because of how their heart and body reacts um, to how the heart is reacting. It's not fun. <laughs> um, put me on some medicine and it was good. But then I would get dizzy and lightheaded and my heart rate was going too slow. So I'm not taking it anymore. So whenever, but at least whenever I get the feeling in my heart, like it hurts or like tightness or whatever, I know it's probably from mitral valve prolapse. And I don't freak out as bad. So next, I'm going to be doing the foundation or, uh, yeah, foundation powder. And I'm using She Glam again in natural color, number 102. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm really interested to see how this stuff compares with Avon, especially since Avon, um, generally most of their stuff costs a little bit more. So I'm excited to see the quality and the quantity. I hope you get a lot for your money. Um, let me take out all my brushes here. Not that one. It's gross. So. Oh, another thing with my other phone is, uh, there's like no storage. Like it wouldn't keep storage at all. I literally could only do a two minute video and we're already at 12 minutes basically. Um, this is just a, what is this? I don't know where this is from. This is, I know this is from Walmart though. It was, it came in a set. It was like, <sighs> that's not good. It was around Christmas time. Like all the, the pack sets. So I'm, I'm just, uh, gonna try not to inhale this and put it all over my face. Like I said, I'm not a professional and I just kind of do my own thing and what I think makes me look good and it makes me happy. So that's really, that's all that matters. So anyways, that's where I've been. Um, feeling a little discouraged there for a while, but I'm better now. <laughs> um... If you bought any any products or anything, thank you <laughs> so much. I know my cousin, she's been ordering a lot, even though I haven't been, like, um, I haven't been posting or anything. So, and Regina, I think she posts a lot in, uh, in the group. Love, beauty, love you. Okay, I think that's enough. Regina was like, she was my best friend growing up. Like I didn't have many friends, but I'd go there like every weekend and it was so much fun. We'd stay up until like two to 4 a.m. doing just like puzzles, coloring, watching YouTube videos, like silly stuff. It was a good time. I miss that. Um. So, then next, I usually do contour, <laughs> which I'm probably not the best at, but, sorry, Stanley, I just dropped something on my cat. I tried to do a backdrop. I don't have the things for that. It's just a blanket and two chairs and it doesn't even cover everything. This is my spare room, which has turned into a storage room. Here I am all over the place and sorry at 14 minutes. This <laughs> thing must have good storage though. All right, so I have this, I probably should show you. I got this years ago um, at Christmas. I think I was still in high school. It's uh. Ulta Beauty Just Face It Complete, Complete Face and Eye Palette. 
and I use this a lot because it has a lot of like blush options and foundation powder so I I use this to contour and I usually these are shiny and these are not so I go with the lightest and I know it's dark but just kind of use what you got and blend it out a lot so you can see right there I'm a chubby girl so I have to kind of create my own lines on my face so you smile and then you kind of anything on that see I'm very hesitant to pick up a lot of color because it's so dark <laughs> and then I'll go along my jaw kind of creating an illusion I'll go up you do what works for your face really like I said it's art it's whatever makes you happy and Whatever makes you feel beautiful. I just want to see the finished product between the two. I do that too. That's weird. But I have lines there anyways. I don't know. I do that. You don't just do whatevs. <laughs> you can see how dark it is over there. But if you blend it out enough, hopefully it's not as rough. I'm pretty sure this is just the same Walmart bundle set. I hope none of you are like cringing right now. I'll do weird stuff when we do our makeup. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, now this part is weird, but so you see right here where there's a natural shadow, I'm going to sort of outline that and shade it in even farther, especially right here kind of masking my double chin you see and then like if you look there's these little like parts that I don't like so I will cut it right here it's basically like sculpting your face you can't like totally change it but you can change it a little bit Then I usually go back through and make sure there's no like super harsh lines because that's really easy to do with contour. So with this, I don't go too far down. I know a lot of people go really far down, but I'm not just, I'm just not comfortable with that. And if I can, I'll push it back in the places like you can see and of course I'll see like how dark it is and I'll be like oh my gosh I shouldn't have done that it's what I was sometimes what I'll do because you get makeup on your hair is I'll take out a uh, makeup remover wipe and I'll use it on my hair to get rid of the probably looks oily so this part you want to go down both sides I know it's gonna look crazy just kind of go down both sides bring on blend this in and then right here right here right here we are sculpting the nose which yes it looks totally crazy right now but it's gonna look better Hey, so you got my nose. I did all of that. We're good now. 
Um, now we're going to do highlight. And the shimmery shades I showed you earlier, over here, I'm going to use the lighter one. And I don't have a, what do you call it? Like a shimmer brush. So I just use my fingers, my two fingers like that. And then I'll go along there. And then I'll add some right there. I know it's like not a lot of people do that, but I just, I like it. And I go crazy with this and it bugs me, but I don't change it. Cause I'm just so used. I'm just so used to doing it. Um, and for the nose, I'll use one finger. And then here's a tip. If you do your Cupid's bow, like define it or let it pop out. It makes your lips more distinguished and then I'll go back to that shade that I contoured with and I will go along the sides and it makes your lip look bigger I was always made fun of my lips so I try and do what I can to <laughs> kind of I don't know make them look different I'm always like worried about that oh flush I want to use um, I don't like that I'm gonna use the blush in here I'm going to mix I like mixing this one and that one because they're two of the neutral like not so pink I think so I'll do a few taps here and there and then I'll just brush up. I like a lot of blush, but you do whatever you want. Um, and then because I'm so red toned, like you can see it on my hands, I'll go back, or my arms, well hands, like all over basically. I'll go back. And I'll use it in those areas. I like using it on my nose, like the tip. I don't, I think it's so cute. A lot of people hate it, but I like it. And just, I'm red toned, okay? So I'm just gonna, it's just what I do. And then I think I want my nose to be a little more shiny. I kind of want to look like Rudolph. That's what I like. So I'll get more. Go like this. Oh yeah. Um, and then I like doing this under my brow too. Like right here to kind of define it. My eyebrows are wild right now. I just, just don't care right now I guess. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get into make, making, into doing makeup more. Um, now next, I usually, I move on to the eyes, which a lot of people do first, but ever since I was little, I didn't do it first and I just hate doing it first because it's out of my habit. Um, so I, I'm just gonna do it now. It's a little late anyways. Um, now it's tricky. Uh oh. There's a light there, I'm not trying to move. Um, it's tricky to do my eye makeup because I have hooded eyelids, which are just like, I have skin hanging down. Like I can't do regular eye makeup and eyeliner. I've tried to perfect that over the years and I just haven't yet, which is unfortunate because I see all these pretty eye makeup looks and I just, I can't do them. Um, so the palette that I got from Avon is pretty neutral. 
So I think I'm going to use this palette, the, the colors on the top. You can see every, yeah, I'm holding that up by my lotion bottle. That's embarrassing. Um, anyways, I'm going to use those shades. It's not embarrassing. Like I'm not rich. People know that it's fine. I just got this in my boxy charm. I think that these are so cute. It's Valentine's Day themed and it's like those uh those toys we had when we were little. So cute. They're hearts. I used them for the wedding. <laughs> Seemed even better. Um, so I'm just going to be doing something neutral, like with the other stuff I'm getting. I'm going to add more as I grow in the company and as I sell more. But as of right now, I just, I basically got the basics and I'll add to my collection. I didn't want to spend a crap ton of money at first I'm trying to be careful um so I'm gonna go in with beige and I don't know if I showed you it's violet boss essentials 2 pro series um this color right here I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the middle section Right there. <clears throat> I should learn the terms of like all the areas on the face too. I thought about doing makeup classes online because they offer them. <sighs> I don't know. I thought about it. I probably should. I'd probably be better at applying makeup okay another thing that I got from Avon that I've never used is eye primer so that should make a difference I love this thing you literally just swirl it around and it gets all the extra color off and then I'm gonna go in with bronze it's a shimmery color so I think it will look good right there So I'm just going to go in the inner corner right here. It's a nice shade. You can see the lamp now. <laughs> I have this huge lamp just like tilted. I can't wait until my ring light comes in. Stay. Hopefully, I thought about getting the blue palette, um, Amazon, I keep calling it Amazon, it's not Amazon, Yvonne has, I might next time I go shopping on there, which FYI, my mom's bought some clothing off of there, which is cute, and she's handed them to me, and I wear them all the time, um, but she says the sizes run bigger, so, sort of beware of that and then I'm gonna go in with the chocolate brown and I'm just gonna start here kind of smoke it it's hard um with my eye shape though I have to do everything different so I kind of go in a B here. I don't know what you guys do, but I go in a B. And then, I'm not gonna do too much with the eyes. I'm not gonna go too crazy yet. Um, and then actually I got 
a shimmer, like a liquid shimmer. So I'm just gonna use one of their shimmers in this palette and I'll just do the same thing. I'll add shimmer to my mid eye. I think that's what you call it, mid eye. This is rose gold. It's pretty. Um, then I'm going to use an angled brush and I'm going to take that chocolate brown color and I'm going to go from right here, just brush it out just a little bit and we'll fix it. I think it like... It just gives me a different eye shape and I like it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use from that palette. I'm going to find the... I don't know if you're supposed to keep those plastic pieces, but I do. So... Um... Ugh, the glass broke in there. Nice. I'm trying to find a white kind of shimmer shade. I don't have white, so I'm just going to use my gold one. But I'm going to have a white one from Avon, which is fine. I have a gold here. And I'm just going to pack it on the inner eye. Which... It's a little dark, but, and then I'll go. It's a little clumpy. I don't like that. I don't like how dark it is. I'm just going to take a little bit of it off and smear it on my fingers because that's what normal people do. Unless I'm not normal, but, which I'm kind of not, but that's fine. Um, there's a white shimmer she did this. Yeah, there's a white shimmer in here. So I'm just gonna go over that gold because I don't like how dark it is. That's better. I wish I just dipped this in black. <laughs> I like that better. She was the same over here. All right. Um, and I'm going to take this and I'm going to blend that brown out so it's not so crazy. You just see it looks softer over here now compared to this side. pick up randomly. It's weird. Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> okay, and then, oh, that's not the, it's not where I shove you guys. Sorry. It's on my new one. Oh. Don't mind me breaking everything. I'm 
literally holding the lamp up with my leg. It's not standing straight up. It's just tilted. I can't wait for my light ring. I might redo this when I have the, I hope that doesn't make like a huge difference. The light ring. If it does, I'll redo this. I'm going to post it early so you guys will have an honest review of everything from Avon. Like I said, like most of the stuff I get minus the sheen or like expensive quality stuff because I've been getting um, BoxyCharm, which is $25 a month that I can't afford. Um, so this is the Signature Brown by Kat, Kat Von D. And it looks like this. And actually... So I'm going to use a spoolie and everyone I've seen is brushing up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying not to pluck my eyebrows anymore because they were literally like non-existent. And uh, I don't know. From some pictures it looks like this part of the brow is gone. <laughs> I'm trying to thicken them up, but it looks crazy to me, so I keep plucking them, and it's a bad cycle. So then I'm gonna take the end, I'm gonna kind of like fill my eyebrows in. I do diagonals, like I'm creating little hairs. It doesn't make that much of a difference, but it does, it does make a difference, if that makes sense. My sister, Rebecca, she is a beast at makeup. She does makeup all the time, but she has so many other talents that she'd probably never, like, go into selling makeup, I don't know. what that was okay and then I'll brush it again kind of I will admit I went a little too heavy with the blush but it's kind of next time we'll get it right maybe <laughs> Ugh. Oh well. I think everyone's critical of like their makeup and what they do. Anyways, next I always do lashes, which I'm excited to use their lash um, mascara because I'm super picky about mascara. This is Man Eater from Tarte and it's actually not that bad and it has cheetah or leopard print on it. I love I love animal print. I always have. I think it's because I was obsessed with Jersey Shore. And I love Snooki. Snooki and Dina. I'll go over the top because just because there's been foul fallout onto the eyes. I don't like my eyelashes because they just, they're straight. Like they stick out straight and there's no curl to them. So like you can, can you see the difference? Ugh. I'll go over top, kind of mask. I'm trying not to get mascara onto my face. Mm -hmm. 
And then I used to do my lower lashes with mascara by habit for a while. But I think I'm going to do that in this video because it'll probably drive some people nuts. Like my sisters. My sister Stephanie is finally on Facebook. I gotta add her to this. Um, this one is CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. I've been using this mascara for a really long time. Like I think my friend Jordan um, introduced me to it and I've used it ever since because her lashes have always been so beautiful. That's normal. Okay, I hate this. I remember one of the first times I did my makeup that I did mascara and I got into the car with my two older sisters and they're like, oh, look at her, she's so cute, not doing her bottom eyelashes. So for a long time, I had to do the bottom eyelashes, but I just, I don't know why I don't like doing it. I don't know. Do you guys like it with or without? Let me know. I'm like flicking you guys off. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I promise. This one's always the tricky one. And then I hate doing eyeliner on me because of my hooded eyelids and my eye shape. It's just a mess. But for your guys' sake, I'm going to do it just so you can see. like the Because I bought eyeliner from Avon, so I'll be using that. So I have to use... Okay. Side. This is going to be really tricky to do. The eyeliner. So, this is Big Fat Liner by Cole Marker Pen. Um, Rockins. It looks like this. It's actually really cool, but um, super pointy. So, this is kind of kind of how I do my eyeliner. You're supposed to start with the bad eye first, that you're the worst eye. Okay. This is scary, because oh, it actually wasn't that bad. advise you to use your saliva to fix your makeup but you know it's just what I do I literally can't do thick eyeliner <sighs> or else my whole eye would be blocked out. And I know I didn't go on the waterline, but I did that on purpose. I don't like going on the waterline because it 
it gives me an even more like weird shape so and then this is weird too but I'll take what I did and I'll sort of like smear it so that the line's not as harsh <laughs> or I'll lick my finger I know so gross and I'll go like that I'm just being honest here this is how I do my makeup see the line's not as harsh and I'll just keep doing that until it's like it's my desire you see how flaky my skin looks if I've tried everything I've tried dermablading moisturizer lotion like nothing's working and I don't know what to do so lastly um I do the lips and I forget what I got for the lips I think something nude um to go with everything because I I got such a basic such basic makeup so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do something basic and not bold which I can't find I know it's not this one liner duo oh so I'm just gonna go with this Kylie matte liquid lipstick it's called Rouge A I'm just gonna go with it because it's sort of nude it's a dark nude but it's really orange I don't like that my cat's meowing I don't like how orange it is. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over it with this. I got this at the Dollar General a long time ago and I've had it for a while, but it's LAC. No one what color, Tinder. CML 462 Tinder. Not like you guys are going to go out and buy this stuff, but I figured it'd be good to know. I don't know if I like that either. It's like too much. Sticky. Well, I was going with nude, but I don't. I don't see any of my nude colors. So we're just gonna do that. And this is the look I am done. I'm tired. Um my hair is crazy, but I've been trying they have hair care products too that I'm going to be trying that I ordered because my hair has been through so much and it just, it's frizzy. It's a mix of all kinds of textures straight. Like back here in the back, it's curly. It's like, a, like summer, like pretty curly, but it's just a mess. Anyways, this is normally how I look with just normal makeup nothing over the top um and we're gonna see how it compares with Avon I'm gonna upload it tonight and then I'm just gonna give my honest review for Avon stuff that's it thanks if you watched I took 15 minutes of your time hopefully you skipped through um and you've See you.
process of my normal makeup and we'll compare and we'll see. I love you guys and see you later.